right everybody a new day is here we're about to get going we got pretty much the same thing to do today that we had yesterday we got another load out of two one i think that's my only load for today though but you never know the afternoon might might bring something up i got new uh headsets for my phone these are bose quiet comfort headsets i control them by tapping them like that while they're in they give me full awareness of everything that's around me. It's sort of like a hearing aid. I can hear everything that's going on. It's also a phone. So instead of like wearing my big headpiece, I have my little phone piece. My little bows. It was my uh, Christmas present from the wife. So that way while I'm driving, I just have one ear in. And if I get any phone calls, all I gotta do is just double tap my headset and it picks up the call for me hands-free I like it a lot better than having this big goofy <laughs> big goofy headset on and you know some drivers out there they never take those things off I I swear they sleep with those things on their head everywhere they go you can always tell they're a super trucker because they got their big headset on walking into the bathroom walking into the shower I don't even know if they take it off to shower or not because when they come out of the shower room they're still wearing it <laughs> They put it back on. They take it everywhere. I always thought that was funny, but nah, to each their own, eh? If that's your thing, that's your thing. This is a little bit more of a sleek design, I think. It's got a little microphone in there too. Yeah, give them a shot. I'm excited to use them. What's interesting about these things is when I take this one out of this here, it turns off. And then I can just put it in a little charging case over here and it automatically starts charging. And they automatically know that this is the only one that's in my ear. So when I get calls, it'll be forwarded to this, this earpiece while I'm driving. If I want, if I was like a left-eared person, I don't know why I always hold the phone up to this ear, but if I was a left-eared person, I could put it in this ear and then it would automatically know to send the calls and the, the audio to that ear. And then the other one would be off and I could, huh, technology, right? Wow. Trucker Josh, officially with it. These aren't cheap either. They were a pretty expensive gift that she got for me. Uh, she got a pair for Christmas herself and she liked them and she got them a bit early and she liked them so, so much that she wanted to get me the same set for Christmas, except hers are gray, I think, and mine are black so we can tell them apart so that our, so that we don't trade ear cooties and get them mixed up. So that's what you gotta worry about. My mask is frozen to my beard. My beard is here to keep my face warm. But now it's frozen to my mask. I can't get it off. So, uh, I'm just gonna turn the vents to me here. All right. All right. Melt. Let me go. Let me go. Oh, I think it's going. Yeah! Ho ho! Oh boy, I've been struggling with that for like five minutes already until I realized, hey, I should vlog this. This is funny. <laughs> oh, oh. So, uh, today ended up being a little bit of a nightmare. Uh, didn't even vlog, I didn't have time to vlog anything. It was straight up working outside all day for the most part. I came in to warm up now and then. Uh, Usually it's an easy pickup here, but uh, today uh, it's it's more intricate, detailed uh, work. I don't know how to explain it. I'll have to show you when we get to the yard. I have to go check on it then anyways. Uh, there's all kinds of different things stacked up in there. And we had to make sure that it was stacked up safely, that it wouldn't slide, wouldn't fall, then I'd tie it down. Uh, good thing the shipper here is an awesome guy. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, at least I consider him a good friend of mine. He's really really good to deal with and it's, it's really nice when you go to regular shippers that you get along with well he's a good guy and uh, he's helping me out a lot and we had to rearrange some stuff and look at all this ice on here it's all from my breath yikes we're just gonna put that up there and let that dry off oh boy I'm not complaining though I'm not saying that uh, it wasn't fun I had a fun day it was a really fun day but uh, it's just a lot of work and my butt is very cold. I can't feel my butt. So there's that. 
I know I'm sitting on the seat right now, but I can't feel that I'm sitting on the seat. And on top of all of that, when I climbed in here, the truck needed to do a regen. So here I sit on my cold butt while the truck does a regen. For those of you who don't drive truck, uh, regen is pretty much, to put it simply, there's soot that gets built up in the exhaust system from idling for a while. Because I can't shut the truck off here, otherwise I might not be able to start it again. Uh, it's that cold outside. So while the truck idles here, it gathers all of that soot so that that, I guess, doesn't go into the atmosphere? I don't know. I don't know why it does it. It's a uh, new technology in trucks that came in about five, ten years ago. And it uh, helps to run cleaner. But when that soot filter gets full, you got to do a regen, which pretty much jacks up the idle here. We're at, what, 1,100 RPM? And, uh, oh, this thing's dirty. I apologize. Uh, it's not my truck. Not my truck. But uh, it raises up the RPM, and it burns that soot off the filter. So I don't know. If it's trying to collect it from not going into the atmosphere, I don't know why it just burns it off and shoots it out anyway. <laughs> I don't know. My lips are very dry, too. Did I bring chapstick? Did I bring chapstick? Come on. Come on, did I? Yes! Thank you, Josh of the past, for thinking of Josh of today. This thing's so old, I bet. My lips are just about to crack open. Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm going to be beautiful. Uh-huh. Look at that. Oh. Trucker makeup tutorial right here. Uh-huh. How do I look? Oh, so yeah, I'm just waiting for this regen to complete now. I'm waiting for my butt to warm up. And then we'll head back to the yard. Time is now 3.45, I believe. Yeah, nope, 3.30. It takes an hour to get back, so if I left right now, it'd be 4.30 when I got back. But I also want to fuel on the way back. Oh, I can fuel here too long, too. Just so that the truck is uh, parked with... Uh, reasonably full tanks of fuel over the weekend because it's going to be so cold. But yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't really tell much of the story of the adventure today. I would have probably dropped the camera because I couldn't feel my hands for most of the day. Eh, you'll just have to trust me. I'll, I'll show you it when we get to the yard. It's, uh, it's a bit of a... You know what? You know what? Let's just do it now. Let's go show you it right now. I'll put my shoes back on. Let's get out there. i got to wait for the regen to finish anyways. <sighs> got my shoes on you better love me i'm going back out there in this just for you okay i gotta i have to give context to what i'm talking about here my butt's so cold it actually feels hot that's not a good sign but hey at least it doesn't feel cold anymore okay all right okay let's, let's open this up here one second one second i'm probably gonna need you guys Okay. All right, so this is what we did today. Ta-da! And there's lots more behind that yet, but that one there is what was the most difficult. Uh, we had to uh, nail it all together so that it stuck together, for sure, for sure. And then I had to tie it down, and then we realized when I tied it down, uh, we didn't like the way it was stacked, so we had to restack it, nail down, and tie it down, and then we were happy and frozen but uh hey it's all balanced out the weight is distributed reasonably even evenly and at the back there's just a bunch of little stuff at the back there which took a lot of straps i took some time and uh, just organizing all this like it may look like this was simple no this is a complex project yeah we we put it together took uh, most <laughs> all day and it's headed all the way down to houston texas in the usa so Houston, I hope you appreciate us today. <laughs> That's a lot of work for you. <laughs> oh boy, it'll be down there soon. Whew. But don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about the cold anymore. Okay, we did that at the beginning of winter. Then our body, what's the word? I always told, I, I called it climatizing. That's not the word, is it? Is it acclimate? My body acclimated? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I don't know all these big fancy words. <sighs> my body's used to the cold now. So yeah, it's. I'm saying my butt's cold and I can't feel it, but it was part of the job. I had a fun day today, though. It was fun tying this all down. It was a challenge. It wasn't an easy day. So like I said the other day, 
I like to go home feeling like I got something accomplished, that I got something done, that I'm proud of. I definitely have that feeling today. When I get home, I'm going to be able to sit on the couch and enjoy my weekend and know that we had a good Friday today, that we got a lot of stuff done. It wasn't, it wasn't the best weather, but we got it done anyways. Kind of wish I was taking it to Houston, though, I'm not going to lie. But man, my body's so used to the cold now, if I went down to Houston, I'd probably be sweating buckets day and night. That's probably best that I just stay up here for now. I'll come visit Texas again soon one day, don't worry. Don't worry about it. Maybe in my summertime. I don't know. I'm going to take a long load eventually, but since... Not to talk about this all the time, uh, but our IVF is in the next in the first quarter of 2022. So the first quarter, I'm going to have to stick very close to home anyway. So I don't even know if I'll be doing many overnights. If they, if they need me to, I will, as long as it doesn't conflict with our doctor's appointments. But still waiting for the regen. Usually this takes about a half hour. I've had them take almost an hour before. I don't know. She keeps doing her thing until she's done doing her thing. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know. Huh. Trucks. This is why I like the old trucks better. The old Pete doesn't need to do this. This is a new truck problem. We're at our favorite intersection. I had one chance right as I was rolling up to the intersection. If I would have just blown the stop sign and gone straight through, it would have been perfect. But I chose not to blow the stop sign and stop. So now I got to wait, uh, <laughs> wait for another opening. It would have worked out perfect. It was a, it was a clear space on both sides, just as I was rolling up, but yeah, you won't find me rolling through. So well, not even rolling through, I, would, I, I wouldn't have been able to stop. I've seen people do that before here. If there's an opening, they just give her, but I'm too nice. Also, you're not supposed to drive through stop signs. It's not a good idea, and I don't recommend it, okay? There, see? Here's another opening. See, all I had to do is wait, like, two minutes. Look at this. I'm going to take my time. careful when you're driving in winter time sometimes the tracks that are uh, on the pavement you know in the snow sometimes they don't follow the lanes you got to keep an eye out for the the actual white lines you got to stay in your lane you see like here you see how most traffic has been wandering into that lane but make sure you follow the painted lines on the road and not the the tracks in the snow like here again. It's usually around the corners too, because people seem to naturally cut the corners. I'd like to get back in that lane, my friend, so if you'd like to pass me, please pass. Come on, bud. I don't know why you decided to pass on that side and pass so slowly yet. There you go. Oh, look at that. They got a skating rink in their backyard all lit up. That's awesome. That's one thing I'd like to have when we build our house. I want to have uh, an outdoor skating rink. I think that'd be fun. As a kid, I would have used that so much because I played hockey then, right? So hopefully my kids will be into hockey. We'll make them an outdoor skating rink. That way they can practice every day at home. We're getting back after five o'clock. It's 5.05 .05 right now, and I've got about another five minutes to the yard, and then I've got to bring in this paperwork, park this trailer, park the truck, get my pickup ready to go. We'll probably be leaving around six o'clock. 6.05. Pretty bang on when we thought we'd be leaving. Some of you ask uh, why sometimes my dash lights are flashing on my pickup in the videos. 
Uh, they're not actually flashing, it's just the camera. It's the shutter speed. During the day, it's an automatic shutter speed adjuster sensor, whatever you want to call it. And it's, it, it, since it's so bright outside, it doesn't always sense the gauge lights and adjust to that shutter speed. But at nighttime here, you'll notice they're not flashing because they're the brightest lights in the camera. So the camera adjusts the shutter speed so that they're not flashing. Chevy! Want to explain to them the shutter speed of the camera? Uh, well, you do it, deal. Okay, I'll do it. Like I was explaining to you there in the pickup, uh, I, I have noticed that in my videos too. And at first it, it weirded me out. I was like, why are my dash lights flashing? Go back out and check my pickup. I'm like, there's no way I drove it all the way home and didn't realize my dash lights were flashing. Like, that would drive me nuts. And I noticed that they weren't. And I held my camera up to them. And from a distance when there's a, like the whole dashboard in the view, the lights start flashing. But when I pull the camera in real close, the lights stop flashing. Maybe I can show you this uh, next week on the way in, uh, or if I get going before the sun goes down after work. So I got to do it during the day. Because uh, the shutter speed on these GoPros automatically adjust. Uh, the shutter speed is, uh, I guess, how do you explain it? The best would be to Google it. <laughs> it's camera tricks that I can't control. I don't really know how to explain it, but no, my dash lights are not flashing. That would drive me nuts if they were. But it was the first week of quarter one. Went off without a hitch, kind of just me. It was a me kind of week. Nothing to really report, nothing too exciting, but it was the beginning of the year, first week of the year. Everybody is recovering from Christmas holidays, New Year's holidays, whatever other holidays you celebrate during that time. And uh, everybody's just trying to get back into the swing of things, pretty much. And it is busy for freight, yeah, because freight sort of slows down through the holiday season. And then it's got to pick up again. I'm not. It doesn't really affect me on that side because I'm not in the office dealing with that paperwork and all those phone calls and stuff. Pretty much I just do what I'm assigned to do. So I don't really notice it on my end other than eh, I've always got something to do at this time of year because it's time to catch up. And then throughout January, February, March, things go a little kind of slower. It's the first quarter, you know. And then springtime sort of starts picking up because everybody's getting excited. Summertime's coming. Everybody's getting moving. And then summertime hits and everybody's outside and everybody's at the mall. Everybody's out buying stuff. People buy a lot of stuff in summertime. If you don't count the holidays, the summertime is when people like to spend their money. So that's when, obviously, truckers have to pick up the pace to deliver all the products. The busiest time of year is obviously the holidays. Everybody's buying Christmas presents. But uh, if you exclude that from the equation, you know, summertime is when everybody's outdoors, you know, going places. You know, they're buying a lot of gas, driving places, going to their cabins, going on vacation, going to Disney World, whatever they do. And wintertime, people are kind of hibernating in my region here in Manitoba. Not a lot of people out on the streets. You don't see a lot of people walking or jogging. Everyone's pretty much in their houses. It might look like a ghost town to some people who aren't used to that. When it gets really cold around minus 30, you, you get the odd like hardcore people who will go for a walk regardless of the temperature. It could be minus 400 out there and you know all matter has stopped and they're still finding a way to go for their daily walk. There's some really committed people out there. But uh, for me and the most most of people we hibernate through the winter so not a lot of not a lot of stuff going on not a lot of money flowing around except if you took now that amazon and online shopping is such a big thing there's always that still but it always does pick up in summertime that's when you know uh when the beaches fill up so those those stores you go to at the beach don't just stock themselves we got to come there and stock it the truck drivers got to bring the stuff there and when you go fishing, all that bait and tackle, and when you go hunting, all the ammo, uh, whatever you use for hunting, whether it be bows or guns or whatever you want to do, they all got to get to the store, get to Cabela's, wherever you buy them from. And, uh, you know, that's sort of 
a warmer weather activity. When you go down south into the southern states, I guess they probably don't notice the seasonal changes to the economy. But uh, I'm no economist or anything, don't get me wrong. But you, from my point of view, I can notice it. There's uh, definitely a, a big pickup once the weather gets warmer. You see it on the streets here in town. Like I, I'm not a town person. I've always lived in the country for the most part uh, growing up. So I don't like living in town really. But this is uh, a means to an end for us. We're living in this tiny little house right now. And we own some land outside of town. We're going to build our dream house out there. It, it's not going to be like a mansion or anything. It'll be a pretty reasonable house. But uh, we, it'll be ours that we're building, right? And... Uh, so living in town here to save money in this tiny little house. Some conveniences are nice. We're right close to the grocery store. Grocery trips are reduced from a whole afternoon down to like an hour or two. That's nice. Tim Hortons is always right around the corner no matter where you go. Uh, it's convenient, but there's people everywhere, especially once summertime comes around and it gets really warm. And especially once it gets hot through the night as well, when it doesn't cool off at night. I know there's so many people out and about. Like, you're like, where did you all come from? There's no way you all are from here. But yeah, they are. They are. You just don't notice them in the wintertime because we're all hiding in our houses. <laughs> oh, I've been talking here for over four minutes already. I just wanted to close this up and say thanks for watching today, everybody. And this day, this week has sort of been repetitive, like doing the same thing over and over. And that's not... I, that's not as common for me usually I'm doing something different all the time but like I said getting the year going here we'll, we'll see what this year has in store for us 2022 is going to be a good year I can feel it I guess I'll talk to you guys a little later and thanks for tuning in and uh Chevy you want to add anything no you're taking a nap on mom's pillow don't worry I won't tell her I won't tell her I promise don't tell mom I won't okay Use her pillow all you want, okay? She lets you and Diesel use my pillow all the time when I'm at work. Then I come home and go to bed and I got hairs in my mouth. Dog hairs. That's right, you get all your fluff on there. She won't mind. <laughs> Where's Weasel? Hey, Diesel! Diesel? Diesel? One second. So we got Chevy there. We got these two... Uh manly men over here cuddling in the little bed together like manly men do where's diesel Deal? Deal? <gasps> are you on the bed yeah the sheets are there it's okay buddy it's okay don't worry about it what you doing just doing some gazing where are you gazing just gazing out the window looking at the sheds very nice sheds dad very nice shed i thought so too that big one over there is actually a lot bigger on the inside than it looks from the outside now, that small one's very handy too because it's got shelves. Yes, very nice shelves. That's where mom keeps her Christmas stuff when it's not Christmas time, but it's Christmas time, so now the Christmas stuff is in here. Exactly. One of my pet peeves about living in town. Okay, here's a little mini rant. I don't want to drag this vlog out for too long, but here's a little mini rant. Living in town, there's somebody in the neighborhood here who keeps letting their cats out loose in the neighborhood every day and they jump my fence they jump into my yard they spray all over the yard they make the dogs go nuts diesel sits here in the window all day looking for them because when they pass through our yard or by our fence he goes nuts then the other dogs start going nuts and then the cats go and they they poop on everybody's yard and you can tell that they're well taken well taken care of indoor cats people in town just let their cats roam town not very many of them but there's at least one person who's doing it and I'm gonna figure out who it is eventually and tell them to keep their cat in their house or keep them in your yard figure it out I don't want your cat coming and pooping and praying pooping and praying and I don't want them coming and pooping and spraying in my yard either okay you got to look a lot more passionate about this diesel I'm trying to give a passionate rant here yes absolutely no more cats you may thank you seriously who does that right isn't that annoying there's your little rant for the day. I, I, I better stop now before I go too far. New video coming soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Go and check if you are subscribed. A lot of you have been watching the, my videos for a long time. You haven't actually subscribed. It's free and it's just down below the video. Super easy. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you later.